The following program may not be suitable for viewers under the age of 14 and may contain mature themes and adult subject matter. Parental discretion is advised. Hello and welcome to another episode of What We Play here on Whiteman TV. As always, I'm your host, Adam Olivero, and thank you very much for joining me on this episode of What We Play. And also, as always, you can always give me a email. I always want to say give me a ring, but I don't have a phone number. <laughs> give me an email at community at C-O-R-P corp dot Whiteman, W-I-G-H-T-M-A-N dot C-A if you would like to send some feedback or have some comments, questions, or anything else that's happening. And I'm um, not going to waste any time getting into this game because this game we are going to be repeating and slowing down and taking a lot of turns to get through some events in this game. You'll see why in a sec on this episode of What We Play. Yes, here we are in Hello Neighbor 2, uh, a game that uh, both have been around for a long time. Uh, Hello Neighbor, well, not a long time, but Hello Neighbor 1, highly, highly praised. Uh, I haven't actually played it. The reason I'm playing Hello Neighbor 2 is it's part of the Xbox Game Pass and NVIDIA GeForce Now partnership. So I played it a little bit. I'm still on day one, technically. So we're going to get started as I jumped out of the menu and he was about to get scared by something there. There's a lot of lore and a lot of uh, interesting facts in Hello Neighbor. Now, if you've never played it before, um, we are, there's a couple of different houses. This one, you're actually allowed to walk around different areas. There's my house. I'm going to look at my briefcase. I've got some tools on me. That's good. All right, you'll see what those do in a sec. I'm just going to put my crowbar away. Um, let me just show you. If I just walk straight up to the house and walk straight into the neighbor's front door, you walk, I'm just going to walk straight right in. There he is. That's the police officer that we are trying to avoid in Hello Neighbor 2. So I'm just going to let him throw me out. <laughs> he walked right by me. That's hilarious. Interesting. Did I bug the game? He's supposed to grab me and throw me out. Oh wow, I've never seen this before. First episode of uh, whether we're playing this. Uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> I was like, ooh, could I just walk around the house without him getting me? No, not gonna happen. Uh, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into the basement. So if I could just run in here again, he'll hear me. Or maybe you won't. We're trying to get into the basement. There was a number of locks. Let's see, I can get in. There was one, two, three, four locks. Two of the keys were on the first floor, and I've got those. One of the keys was in the upstairs floor, and I got that as well. I'm just getting the lower floor's key, or the second key in the upstairs. So I'm going to take a shortcut to get into the neighbor's house. It's going to make this a little bit easier. Uh, I had to open a window to get this. Uh, and who we're playing as in Hello Neighbor 2, to give you a little backstory. In number one, you were playing as a kid who the neighbor was trying to... Uh, uh, one of the uh, neighbor's friends. Now this is a police officer, um, and they're looking at the house, the neighbor's house from Hello Neighbor One. You're playing as a journalist. You're trying to dig up some dirt, see what's going on. Why are the police here? When I first entered in, my van crashed over there. I had to get out of that barn, come across to the house here, and the neighbor actually chased me back into the barn, knocked me out, and then threw me in my own house, which was, as you can see, up there in the street. Uh, that little house with the antenna dish on it. Kind of a TV reporter. <laughs> Which is a little funny that I'm on Whiteman TV and playing this game. This is a great game though. Uh, I like the puzzle aspect to it. Humongous fan of the puzzles. Uh, so we have to get a... The hard part is we don't know where the neighbor is. 
Oh, the police officer, I should say. Whoa, don't step over those. The police officer will really come after us then. He'll hear us no time. Okay, we're trying to get that key right here. Now, the thing is, I can't just go here and just pick it up. That's not how this game works. Um, we have to get this car to get it for us. And the problem is, I can't start this car. I don't have a battery. So I need to find the battery. Oh, that's not good. I'm just gonna hide in here. I'm gonna come racing up those stairs and try and figure out what's going on. I'm sure. This bed also moves too, so I'm not... He raced in here? I was in the other room! Over there! <laughs> As you can see what I was saying off the top there, we're only six minutes in, I've already been caught... Well, I caught once on purpose and then twice uh, actually caught. Uh, so you can see how how much you have to replay the game, repeat the game, play over, play over, play over again and again and again. The game does not hold your hand at all. This is like 80s hard. You need to figure things out. Uh, so you either get a walkthrough and hold that beside you. He's literally right there. You just see him. Or... Uh, use a guide or a walkthrough like I was saying um, there's tons of YouTube videos out with YouTubers just like me and just like on oh, this episode of what we play that are doing the same thing trying to figure it out so the battery apparently is in this room that the neighbor just left so the cool part is I can get into this room I can also open that window and go back through the window if I need to escape from him I'm gonna go into the room We're gonna try and find that battery. See, there's. You can put a lever there, it looks like. Of course, then we need to find the lever. Um, the neighbor AI is very cool. They call it the neighbor AI because it's just. The police officer is programmed to the same AI. Um, headphones are almost a must, or listening in a quiet room. I wouldn't wanna play this with um, other people trying to like other people doing other things whatever you know music or whatever because you need to be able to hear the neighbor's footsteps there may be times when we're playing where i just need to stop talking for a sec so i can figure out what's happening um but i'm trying to find that lever i know it's around here somewhere and we're gonna try and get that lever whoa did you just hear that Your door is opening and closing. That gives you a good indication of uh, the neighbors nearby, but he hasn't come into this room yet. And this is the gamble. Now the nice part is there's no lives or anything, right? So you can get caught as many times as you want. You can repeatedly get caught. Um, he's not going to care. He'll just keep throwing you out of the house. So that question mark means he's seen me and he's trying to search for me and now he doesn't know where I went. Well, that's interesting that I could actually fall behind him. <laughs> the question is, can I get out of here? Yep, I can, okay. Oh, is that the left? No, there's bedposts on either side. Can he actually get me from up here? So now the hard part is he may just stay there. See, he's kind of just staying there. See, he's like, I see you again. Liking that. This is hilarious. Oh, he's gonna get me now. I'll just let him get me. Okay. <laughs> I think we bugged the game again. 
I can't. Oh, oh that's no fair. I can't throw my crowbar at him. Okay, if I just walk slowly, is he not gonna throw me out? It's hilarious because he's right beside me. Like literally. If I go over here, yeah, he's on the other side of the bed. Oh, now you can see me again. I wonder if anybody has ever had this happen to them. I'm sure. There are so many YouTubers that play this game. I'm sure there's people that have had this happen to them. Can I actually use the scissors? I can. Can't use my new. No, there's nothing over here. This is hilarious. I think this is the longest... Oh, my daughter Claire would just be fascinated. She's really into Hello Neighbor. And the fact that the AI is just having a heck of a time trying to take care of me right now. So just would probably... There it goes. <laughs> just, just, she would just love that. Okay, we're still looking for this lever. Now, when the neighbor was just, uh, or sorry, with the police officer, was just patrolling the first floor heavily before I'd solved all the puzzles on the first floor, it, uh, it would come run right out and get me right away. But now, of course, because we've got all the puzzles solved on the first floor, it's way more focused on the second floor. Now, some of the guides I read actually said that you should do the second floor first, um, but you do have to get some of the first floor puzzles done because you need those scissors. Look, he's still right there. How did you throw me out and then come right back up there that quickly? Come on. Maybe he opens it and then the door closes right away. If I open the door, I have to close it behind me. Okay. Let's see if we can't. too close. Okay, I need to find this this uh, lever. And then we need to find this battery. So the lever pulls back that bookcase. You can kind of see from the window where the window's positioned, the house is a lot bigger there, right? And there's no windows on that back side. So um, we need to get in there and find that lever. Now where the lever is, that's a good question. Uh, could be in the child's room, but we'd have to watch out for those. I don't see him in there. Let's go for it. I don't know. Uh, a lot of YouTubers didn't comment on using this. He's right there. He's in this room. Going through like that, which is hilarious because it's such an easy get to get, get it around him. We can't take that lever. And those are just some pencils and some video games. Nothing there, it looks like. Like how those are old Nintendo games. That's cool. There's just a candle in here. This is where part of one of the other puzzles was, was in there. Bookshelf. Why did you just save all of a sudden? Always worries me. Is there something going on that I'm not aware of? It's such a good game. If you like hard puzzle games, this would appeal to you. Even if you... Oh, that's interesting. And there's the lever. Look at that. We just figured all that out. Can I? Can't fall. Th Ooh, looks like I maybe almost could fall through there. Okay, let's get this lever in place. Now the other thing is, um... Oh, I <laughs> almost thought I saw him there. There we go. Use the lever. Ok, 
Okay, we're making progress. Good, so this, he doesn't actually come into this area. Interesting. Okay, that's the battery. I don't think there doesn't appear to be anything up there. There is a chest over here that we can use the crowbar on. That does make noise. Oh, really? Oh. Uh oh, we're doing this again, are we? Oh, that was hilarious. There's no way I could have gone. I might have been able to make it to the window. Now, did he take the battery? He did. But well, we know where the battery is now, so we can go back in and do that. Go back in and get the uh, battery. Because if the game is going like I think it should go, <laughs> uh, that door's just already been open. Yes, it is. Well, the funny part is, I'm out of the house here, and he's just standing there. Right? Like... I need to wait for him to leave. Like, come on. Hurry up already. <laughs> there we go. because I want to see what's in there. Oh. What is that? It's a video camera. Okay, well, let's get this battery in place before he comes back up. And then I, I kind of have an idea of why there's a hole under the bed like that. Because you could probably use that to jump right down to where you need to put the... There. And can we use this? And then we have to... Ha. Come on, let me... Oh, this would be hilarious if I get... There we go. Whoa. <laughs> I almost went back over the noisy toys. I don't see him. Oh, is he on this side? <sighs> There's a drone you can pick up. Um, and I did have that drone the last time I was playing. I uh, want to just recommend that that helped immensely the drone big time. Um, let me get my crowbar. I don't see him. Can I use them? Yes, I can. All right, let's just. Oh, jeepers! He's right down there, eating a donut, eh? because I have the last key now, isn't it? Yeah, come on up here and try and get me. Going down. The question is, will you chase me? So I could just walk straight out the front door. Look at that. Okay, we've got the basement unlocked. That's very exciting. We're only 20 minutes. I got a little chill there because the game is very uh, challenging, as you just saw in the first 20 minutes of me playing. Uh, now, let me get you up here. I could show you this uh, treehouse. 
There's a few other things in this town that are kind of neat too. So as you can see, there's a ladder there. So we do this, we get up here, go up to this ladder, which helps us go across the roof. Then we jump to this tree. It gets us up to the second level of the tree house. Oop. And now we are inside the tree house. Now I'm gonna drop this ladder. There, make it easier next time. You can see over here, you can see the house. And all the squeaky toys. Um, we got the scissors, they were sitting in here in this box. Um, and some other keys were in there. Go down. Go down, please. Alright, shall we go for it? Should we just walk straight in the front door and go for the basement? Depends on where he is. If I just run and go in, what happens? Run and go. Oh, I don't know where he is. Going down to the basement. I don't know if he'd follow me. The, the little, like, oh, be wary symbol left. Okay, we're in the basement then. Stuck, there's a little fort. <laughs> the um, museum. The language in Hello Neighbor is interesting because everything's spelt differently. Oh, got a key. Okay. Why can we hide down here if he's not going to come down and get us? If I open that door, does he just... Oh, I can't actually open the door. <laughs> the game's kind of got us worked into going a certain way. Which, again, I have no problem with. So we're definitely going to the museum as our second spot now. Just to brief you in, I've actually explored a bit of the town and been to the museum already. I couldn't get inside. That opens that. And we've got the basement open. Ooh, and now it's nighttime. Paper airplane. That is... Help me. Okay. Oh, I don't want to toss this, whatever that is. I'll pick it back up. Um, okay. So what's going on now? If I go back into the first floor of this house, does it... Is he here? Interesting. Oh. He's not anywhere. The police officer's not anywhere here. Or at least it doesn't look like he's anywhere here. So that's interesting because the game is the cop car still outside? can't quite see from that window. Step all over those squeaky toys. I don't think he's anywhere in this house. So that's kind of interesting. So you could go back into the house and get any leftover secrets, although I don't think there are any. I mean, the donut's still there. I can't pick it up. <laughs> Ah, well, there you go. There's your answer. We just went outside. The police car is gone. It's nighttime. Uh, to the museum, I suppose. So, to my house. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, because my house has a map. So it does help. Because as you'll see, there is no, like, call-up map. Like, here's the pause menu. That's all I got. Uh, there, there's my toolkit, but... I don't have a map, at least at this point. Right now in the game I don't have a map. I've avoided to try and uh, go ahead in some of the walkthroughs. I, I've had to use help. I've not 
who super genius. I can't get I didn't get by a few of the very first puzzles. Well if you look in here you can see here's my equipment uh, list. So I can pick up pieces of equipment after I get captured would appear here. Here's my map. And I actually have a tape deck, which I'm very interested in. Not sure why it's here in a radio. And my little case board. Right, so I can see I've got the house completed. So is the neighbor related to the police officer? Because that's the neighbor's house. And now we're going to the museum. And I can go upstairs to my upstairs section. Right, so let's have a look here. So there's my place. There's the neighbor's house. I think the museum is this one. And you can also see, oh, these monitors that were in here before, they were showing the neighbor's house, and now they're not showing anything. Let's go, let's actually see me, the reporter. Let's go upstairs then, like up to the attic, or up to the roof, I should say, because I have this camera. And I don't know what I would use it for, other than replacing one of these cameras. Because it's the same kind of camera, okay? So, I can't place it over here. I don't know what that's for, but that is definitely a museum over there. I can see it right from here. So, it's straight that way. Let's get there the fast way. <laughs> you like that? So, what I did was I jumped so high, I caused my character to go on unconscious. <laughs> so let's go back and actually follow this, because I bet you that goes right to the neighbor's house. Because there probably is kind of stuff it wants me to see. my house. The game does have a bit of a horror vibe to it, if you haven't got that already. There's a mystery. What's happening? There's houses. What's going on? Right? Oh, yeah, see? Here they are. are all are. Okay. Separate ways to go. This way. And I would assume the other trail is over there. Yes, I see it. Oh. There's a third trail. Oh, that just goes all the way around from that side. There's a lot of uh, intrigue and mystery, as I mentioned in, in Hello Neighbor. It's a very cool game. Um, and the company that makes it, we're actually going to play one of their other games next week, just as a little teaser. It is not Hello Neighbor 1. Just throw that out there. Okay. Still got all my equipment. And the museum is now open. Locked. 
Aha, new piece of equipment. Oh, what's happening? Creepy. Okay. Oh, I wish there was a flashlight. It'd be helpful. Yeah, here's the drone. Let's grab that. Might come in handy. Um. Oh, interesting. He's talking to the pretzel place. This here it sounds like a sprinkler. Carrying it all apparently. Yes. All right, let's not waste any time. <laughs> There's that trick. Ours right, is just over there. Okay, so police officer was talking to somebody here. There's, okay, that's the very first person I've met that is not the police officer. Or the neighbor, for that matter. Who both look suspiciously the same. I'll just say that. Why allow me access to this roof? And the second question... I want to go look at the museum, which is right here. And all those paper airplanes are gone now. And the museum door is closed. So we are definitely have to do something. Now, do I have the shovel? I don't. Okay, I guess uh, we gotta go into that. Pretzel store. I'm just exploring around before I go in. Well, that's, well, that's just a telephone pole. <laughs> the game does funny things to you. It's like, oh my god, what is that? So this, this whole area was actually closed off earlier. I couldn't get into it. Um. Ow. Ow. <laughs> All right, tiny build, this seems like a bug. Okay, I don't wanna talk to you yet. Can go through that door, yes. Donuts. Whoa. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not very cool. Come on. So you can't see me. Or I can't be seen by you. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Okay. Here I was, I thought we would just have a nice chat. Nope, 
Certainly not. What are we looking for in here? Don't want me just to. That's not creepy. So, what point do you not like me? Oh, right now. Still find that part a little disconcerting. <laughs> she just wants to suffocate you. Close the door. <laughs> oh, there's a back door. Well, that certainly would make it easier to go through the front door. Keepers. Okay. There's a lock on this. Heart lock. Oh, can open that window to make that easier. Do you have to play in this kitty? Oh. oh, you got me. You're gonna pass me out. Mm. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's hilarious. Okay. Let's go in through that side door. We're having some pretty. Oh, it's still open. We're having some good success going through there. So fine. Chase me. Not that far. Okay. No. Oh, don't close my head. Really? Oh, <laughs> I still find that very disconcerting. Now, is there another side door over here? Oh, there's a window. Oh, I can't open that window. Uh, yeah, so it definitely looks like we're going to the second floor. Looks, I would agree that everything's just contained in the second floor that we want to take a look at. And I see she closed this door, but left the window open. Okay, so what we gotta do is go by the kitty cat. Go by you. It's like a little bit of a mix of Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Because a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's is sneaking around. Okay, she's busy down there, so hopefully we can be uninterrupted up here. Well, I do see there are some hiding spots. So what's going on up here that the game wants us to go to and look at? Oh, that is a big book. Oh, that was a close oh. one. Oh my gosh, okay. So if she does hear footsteps, she will come upstairs. Quietly listening. See if she goes back down. Sounds like it. Okay, well, I mean, I, you're, can you really blame her? We're, we're moseying around. There's a lot of crows. Um, Make a fast exit out of there if I need to. Um, what? Oh my gosh, is that gonna kind of attract her up here? Looks like it. 
Yep, here she comes. Let's go inside. So she go watch if she goes over to the bathroom? No. Oh, she is gonna go over to the bathroom. I think I heard her turn the water off. She's looking over there. There she comes. Yep, she's back in the restaurant. Donuts. Oh, scissors. Getting a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Oh, she's checking the bathroom again. You know, because I went into the bathroom and I made some footsteps and water in there, so that could be what she's thinking of. She's back in here. Looking right at me. Oh my gosh, where's she going now? Outside. Too bad I can't. You know, quite see what she's doing out there. Gosh, it's so close. Counting footsteps. Sure takes her time getting downstairs. Who keeps their lamp on the floor? Out of here! There's, there's some stuff up there on the porch. It looks like it's watering that plant. I definitely want to look at that. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. Um, I'm also wondering, I should get that window open there, the window in the bathroom. Okay, window in the bathroom. That'll make it easier to get over. Oh, where are you? I don't think she's actually down here yet. <laughs> Should I go open that door and we'll be eye to eye? Oh, here she comes. Get here. Nice. Oh no! She saw me! I'm gonna make a bolt for the bathroom. Oh, you can't open that window? Oh my gosh, did she not come all the way in here? Oh. Oh no, here she comes. That looks even scarier in the shadows. <laughs> Just gotta say. Cause like, what's the point of going up this ladder if you can't open that bathroom window? Yeah, you can't open it. I see, I can see that now. Can't be opened. Um, this is just a plate window, though. Could it be just as simple as I smash it? Oh my gosh, it is. That alerts her to me being up here. Doesn't 
doesn't look like it. so peaceful. No, you don't look peaceful. That was hilarious. Okay, so that's definitely an easier way to get up here. Oh, wait. There's paint cans up here. There's paint cans all over this place. There's paint cans over at the neighbor's house too. I wonder if it has something to do with it. Okay, like we've got a lock on this book. There's a lock on a fridge downstairs. Huh? Oh my gosh. If that was real life, I certainly would have seen myself. <laughs> that was so close. Too close. I still want to check out this patio out here. Or this porch or deck. It's gotta be something to do. Okay. There. It's plant. And a stool. That's just about it right here. Whoa. Okay. Oh, look at this. get to that from here. But can I use my crowbar to smash this window? <sighs> Feel bad. Smashing all our windows. Okay. That just gives me another thought of an escape or a different avenue. Crows have a different meaning in this game. Uh, you'll see if you play the game. That's interesting. Do I get to keep some of that? And why can does I have the hand here but I can't do anything to it? Well, we're running close to time here on what we play. Oh, did you guys see that? There's a number five down here. What does that mean? I can't, I can't pick that up. We can pick this up. So I gotta shut this water off. I think that's what it is. I'm really thinking that I gotta shut that water off. Where does that water pipe go to? swipe it. Well, I've swiped it now. <laughs> Dude, you're looking right at me.
think I picked the right spot to go in. Oh, that's hilarious. She's right there. Like I've been saying, how, how cool is the, uh, the game mechanics in this? Okay. That was close. Okay. I have an like an idea that that can't put it there though, can I? Not, not there either. I almost wanted to use it down there, but I'm not sure. Well, I think you've got the gist of how Hello Neighbor 2 is working. I'm going to keep trying to solve this mystery of this house. This is day two. Now I've got some easy outs. Huh? Hi, I'm right here. Uh. See me? If I get this... <laughs> you look so peaceful until you see who I am. Then you don't like me. <laughs> yeah, you can't sneak along there. It seems like the I want to turn the water off for that uh, sprinkler up there. I don't quite know where to go to do that. If I'm just standing here, you don't even see me. You're just making your dough. I think it's not until you look up. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah, I, the cash register is missing numbers. And up there was a number five. Well, look at this again. Yeah, we're missing. How far out do you chase me? You don't chase me out of the restaurant, no? Something to do with this, because there's change there. We're missing numbers, and it's sad to stop. So disconcerting. been doing a better job of evading her than the police officer, so there's at least that. I'm just kind of stumped, because it seems like, yeah, you want to turn that off, but I grabbed the handle from there. And it doesn't let me put that back on the check. Easy enough. Nope. Can't put that back on. Hmm. This might be another I need to check the walkthrough situation. And I'm sure there's people out there that are watching this right now that have played Hello Neighbor 2 and are just yelling at me like, you need to do this! So, <gasps> do I still have that? No. We need ice. Oh. Let's go back to doing your thing, okay. Here while I see 
have this. Of the ice in your, door, in your tub. <laughs> Here, walk by there. Hi. <laughs> Sometimes toying with the AI is fun. Hi, I'm right here. This is ice for though. Wait a second. This way. No, I want you to go into the bathroom. Tub's on. Go check the bathroom. Every time I cut the tree, it saves the game. Interesting. So we definitely need the scissors because it's giving us another pair of scissors. I think I have three now. Oh, just two. Still. Scissors and ice and some keys. Yeah, I can I don't know, that's a good question, and I don't think it's one we're gonna solve today on this episode of what we play. At least right now. We are almost at a time in this episode, and that baker does not want us to come up into their house. There are secrets in here. This town has a lot of secrets. <laughs> like, there's a lock there. And there's a lock in the basement and the cash register. Keys are probably in the cash register, I'm thinking. Right? Does that make sense? Because I found a number five over here, but I can't quite pick it up. There's a puzzle here we gotta solve. And there's something to do over here. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to actually be up here. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Hmm. Why can't I pick this one up? Don't know. But like I said, I don't think that's one we're gonna solve on this episode of What We Play. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of What We Play. As always, I'm your host, Adam Olivero, and thank you very much for joining me. This is our first show back on the new Whiteman TV Channel 6. Uh, we are on the air at 9 p.m. on Friday nights and 10 p.m. on Sunday nights. And if you have a comment, you can always email me, community at corp.whiteman.ca. Until the next time, take care and keep playing.